Boom, boom, this is Kendra. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, we got an Azure land up today. Got a pretty big announcement, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's go ahead and hit the uh, the big surprise here. Well, it's not really a surprise. Uh, we've got Shibakaz. So we've got another UR ship based under the Sakura Empire. First one was, of course, Shinano. So as you know, we've had three UR builds from scratch. We've had Shinano, we've had Jersey, and now we've got Shimakaz. So Shinano and Shimakaz are both Sakura Empire ships. Okay. Uh, also, uh, two other super res. We got uh, Katsuragi. We've got Shakuma. Shakuma is in the shop. I'll show you that shortly. And then we've got Yumakaz and we got Yura. So uh, another Yura ship. She has a fascinating skill set. I'll show that to you uh, a little bit later. Uh, actually, in another video, because uh, this is just going to be about the actual upon the shimmering blue second phase of the event. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. So this is just the uh, the build sortie. Uh, exchange shop that you can get from the main. Uh, so we've got the, the deep rock treasure, which is these little seashells here. Uh, you get 10,000, it'll be to get Yamakas. As always, it's always 10,000 to start off with. And then you can get multiple copies. So there's 10,000, the first one. And you get more copies as you should go through another 20, another 40, and another at 60. So just get as many as you can. Uh, the, the shop, there's some good stuff in the shop. You're going to have to do a lot of running. So uh, be prepared for that. This is the standard uh, luck of the draw. As you do events throughout the day, you will be able to get uh, rewards. So if you destroy a total of 50 enemy ships, you'll get two pools. Okay. Uh, and this will open up one every day for seven days. Okay. So nothing biggie. So just do them, do those things, and then you can get the draws. Uh, some of the things you can get, you can get one uh, two-pack blueprint. Uh, efficiency combat logistic. This is the run two times on the auto. Double rewards, double uh, double oil, uh, spare, cat box. Uh, we got some skill books here, and then of course we got uh, a Sakura Empire pack. Uh, some of the good draws. So that's all this mini game. PR catch up. Still going on Azuma. A call to arms. This is of course about to get the limited portrait frame where you have to limit break all the ships. As always, if you go to proceed, you will see this inside of the event tab uh, right here. So we've got. Uh, just obtain, you know, Shimakaz, uh, Katsuragi, Shikuma, Yura, uh, Yumakaz, Yumakaz. Okay, so it is just like always. Uh, interesting thing about Shimakaz is she's a destroyer. So this is uh, this is what makes this interesting. We will have to see exactly um, what this does to the meta uh, in terms of destroyers. Uh, may there actually be a destroyer that is able to actually do in-game content. I think that's what this is designed for. Okay, so we're going to talk. We're going to have a whole video about her. Um, I think you'll find her to be extremely interesting. All right. So, uh, so that's the main uh, event. Is the standard standard event tab. There's nothing different about this. You just do the chapters as always with the ships. Um, you can use the ships that you did before or not. It's up to you. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside the actual event tab. So we've got Manju Diver, Manju Wave Rider, Mini Waterfall. And Sabasa. These are all capabilities as you complete the mini games uh, and do uh, a bit. You will be able to get mats, which you could then use to uh, increase your dorm by three. The, the slippy side here, this reduces tactical training. This one right here uh, it increases your EXP. And this one right here, which is increases the damage your ships deal at normal hard on event stages by 1%. Uh, so, you know, as you do this stuff, You'll be able to get that. Uh, it's all played under the Salvage and Crew game. Uh, this is a fun game. I really enjoyed this game immensely. Um, it's basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the stuff on the bottom. Unfortunately, uh, there are things in the way, such as other ships. Uh, like there, I got a shark, which is completely useless. This is a fun game. I actually failed myself uh, playing this mul multiple times. <laughs> there is no way to steer this. It moves on its own. So you have to... You know, you have to sort of, uh, oop, got it. So you want to try to get the chest. You want to try to get the stuff off the bottom, okay? So, uh, yeah, it, that's all it is. That's all. It, so there's nothing else in terms of that. It's a fun game, though. Uh, I do find it enjoyable. enjoyable. Um, oh, 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 Bob, that was not good. <laughs> I missed it. I want to get the one of those pearls. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so that's what you want to try to do. Um, is get all the stuff on the bottom. 
Okay, and you, you just have to play this uh, once a day. I'm going to quit. Okay, uh, and you do this once each, you know, each day, up up until seven days. All right. So uh, that's of that construction we had talked about here. Uh, good setup, definitely a good setup. So we'll have to see whether or not that holds true or not. So let's talk a little bit about the shop. Now they've got a really, really good gun in here. Okay. Uh, so but it's 10,000, so you're really going to have to do a lot of farming. Uh, you're probably going to have to hit, if you do not build Shima, uh, Shikuma inside of the actual build, you're probably going to need over 30,000 uh, to get, because you, you definitely want to get, uh, of course, you want to get all the blueprints and the parts. That's that's a given. Um, but now you're, you know, now you're starting to get into this gun, you're going to need that as well. So, you know, normally you can get by, if you're not looking for any of these items, you can normally get by with about fifteen to 20,000, uh, but you're going to need 30,000. If you don't build Shikuma, you're going to need more than that. So just, just you know, you just want to play this event as much as you can. Uh, knock it out as much as you can. Do as many as you can. Uh, always to make sure you do your doubles. You know, after you clear after you clear the event the first time, um, you know, you get times three on everything. Uh, and then tomorrow you want to come back and do them again because you'll have times two and times three on those again. Chance to earn more of the deep rot treasures. Uh, and you're going to have to have a lot of them. Okay, so uh, just understand that um, you're really going to have to do a lot of farming. Uh, I knew there was going to be a lot of farming involved, which is one of the reasons I saved up a lot of my actual uh, uh, things. So these are the two new ones. You got the compensation, 3,000, uh, and of course some sodas. But I saved up these as well. So I've got a bunch of oil uh, set into this. So I'm going to be running it a lot. Uh, under the mementos, uh, they got a new comics entered if you want to go in to check that out. Okay. And then in, inside the gallery, uh, some new illustrations if you're looking for that as well. So some new updates of that. Uh, it's been a while since we've got some good stuff on that. So that's very well. Uh, now, underneath the actual... Um, don't see anything new. Upon the shimmering. Yep. Yep. Nothing new there. So, again, let's talk about continue talking about the shop. Now, this is a really good gun, okay? So you definitely want to try to go for it. But yeah, you know, 30,000 is what you do. But, you know, hopefully build Shikuba, <laughs> uh, just to make sure. So I inside the build, we've got the actual pity up again, thankfully. I love it when they have the pity. But they only have the pity for your ships. So the pity's 200, so I hope you were saving your wisdom cubes um, uh, for this. Uh, another way to supplement, of course, is inside of the missions. Not the missions. The lab research academy. Make sure you do not use the cubes in here for any of the researches. Um, because that's just a waste. But if you look inside of the commissions tab, you can actually... You can actually... Get cubes in there. On occasion not all the time but sometimes you can so inside of the I have to clear these out I was running these I managed to get my hands on one of the ships I was I did not have two of the ships uh, so if you look in here sometimes nope but sometimes you'll be able to see cubes inside of these commissions so you might want to focus on those commissions definitely want to do that because you have a chance to get some crystals but uh, if you do look inside you will sometimes see the ability to get cubes here uh, and you'll sometimes see it in the urgent ones so just make sure that you run commissions that are associated with your cubes uh, that's a good way to get cubes all right uh, so, yeah, so this is a pretty big event at the, the UR ship. We're going to have a whole video dedicated uh, to Shimakas. She's a destroyer. So uh, we're going to talk about what this does to the Mater, because right now there's no Mater for destroyers. They just die. Uh, we're going to see. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that this indicates that there will actually be some more uses for them. I mean, granted, you're not going to run a three destroyer build at 12 and 13, no matter what you do. 
but it will be nice to actually see a destroyer that you can actually use. <laughs> I mean, uh, not something just for low-level farming, which is where I use my destroyers at. When, I, when I'm trying to farm a low, uh, one of the lower levels to bring up ships or something, you know, I supplement it with destroyers because they're very low in oil, low-cost oil. And, of course, uh, there are some out there that are actually pretty good. In the lower levels, they do excellent, uh, excellent skill sets and buffs for it. But in terms of PvP and in terms of 12, uh, 10, actually even 10, 10, 11, 12, it, 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 just not, it just doesn't work. They just don't have enough. They're light armored ships, so uh, everybody has the damage modifier against them, uh, and they just die too quick. I mean, even, even you know, there's some ships that you can, they just don't last. I mean, even the starter ships, E23 Laffy, none of them, none of them, even once you've got them fully up and it, it done the retrofit on them, they just, they just don't have what it takes uh, to, to do the end game. So I'm hoping that this will this is the, the you know signal that they're finally going to do something with destroyers so we're going to have a little bit of a talk about her uh and see it, what it will she live up to the hype but i did want to go ahead and get this video out to begin with just let you know that it's up start running it you're going to have to get a lot of the deep rock treasures to get that gun and get everything else that you want so just plan on hitting 30 35,000 minimum okay uh i know that takes a lot but just keep hitting the times three and the times twos on each of these. Uh, I saved up a bunch of oil to do it, so that's the that's about the best way to go about it. Uh, if you're you know if you're really crimped on oil, you can get some inside of the shop. Okay, um, right here for a thousand. Okay, so you know it's you're getting rid of your treasures to get more oil. So it it's really not at, you're using oil to get the treasures, spending the treasures to get oil. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> uh, but, but, you know, uh, it, it, it's for a thousand oil. You can, you should be able to get back on that, but you're not going to get much of a return on that one. Uh, but yeah, with these, with this stuff in here, um, you definitely want to go uh, head on on the builds. Uh, the pity is up of course for her. So you, you know, definitely want to make your 200 and remember, remember uh, one of the things that you have to remember about this. I know a lot of people got bit on this the last time for Jersey is these costs. It costs money. To build, let me go ahead and do my builds for today. I'm going to do five today. Okay, so that's 7,500 coins. Okay, so what you have to understand is, you know, it's it, it's tight on the it's tight on the coins as well as uh, the cubes. So you need to keep that in mind. Okay, I got lucky. I got uh, Katsuragi uh, right off the bat. So starting out good. And okay, I just okay, I just pulled her right. <laughs> pulled her. Almost, okay, see that's luck. <laughs> so I have her now. So we'll go ahead and take a look at her here. I'll go ahead and include her in this uh, in this actual uh, uh, video since I do have her. I was going to wait until I pulled her before I did a video on it, but let's go ahead and take a look at her. So we've got Shimakaz. All right, that's really good. I'm very happy about that. So let's go into the dock. Uh, She's going to be at the bottom, of course, because she's just going to be one. So let's take a look and see what she's got in terms of, in terms of power. Okay, so we've got Shimikaz. She says, I am the strongest destroyer. Well, Shimmy, you're going to need to be the strongest destroyer because if you're not, you're not going to be very much for use to us. Uh, so good artwork. Uh, interesting. Uh, uh, oh, wrong ship. Uh, interesting setup there. So let's, uh, the picture, I was trying to see what was up on her. Let's see if we could do the inspect here. Uh, so that's just, I think that's just her pulling out the sword is what that means. Yeah, that's just pictures of her in various poses. So it's a very, very interesting little setup. So let's take a look at the skill set. When this ship fires her torpedoes, uh, fires a level one special broad and executes a slashing attack. Enemies hit by a slashing attack take 3.5% increased damage from this ship for three seconds and fix a unique flooding ailment which lasts six seconds to enemies hit by her torpedoes flooding deals 179 damage per tick so we've got a dot so she's definitely going to have a little bit more uh, a little bit more in terms of damage which was uh, something that was also a little bit on the weak side uh, but that does not help us on the main setup which is okay 4.5 increases your vanguard speed by three this is dynamic so it's oh, it's going to change i'm not doing this at the start of the battle, when the ship's torpedoes finish reloading for 10 seconds, decreases this ship's damage taken by 5. Okay, this is dynamic. So we're going to get a damage increase. That helps. 
Okay, it increases her damage dealt with torpedoes by 4.5% and increases your vanguard speed by 3. These effects cannot be stacked. Okay, so not stackable. All right, now this is the one we want to look at here. Increases the ship's accuracy by 5%. This is her support skill. And decreases her torpedo damage taken by 10%. Okay, that's helpful. While this ship is afloat, they're going to fleet. Uh, this ship is not in starts battle, so we've got cross. So we've got cross fleet capability. Uh, well, this is not in starts battle. That fleet gains the following buffs. 30 seconds after battle starts, fires a level 1 supporting torpedo barrage. Damage based on skill level 2. If the fleet uh, Shimikaze is not in, has one or more destroyers, increases your DDs and torpedoes by 1% until the battle ends. That's dynamic. Uh, so we're getting a little bit of a cross. We've got some cross server ups, and, and this is going to encourage you to use more destroyers. Unfortunately, uh, that's not. So let's take a look at their hit points uh, of uh, 381. That's low. Uh, so uh, I'm not seeing it. Uh, there's a lot of damage decrease uh, modifiers inside of here, but I'm still not seeing it. Uh, hopefully it will perform better in terms of what, you know, on paper what it sounds like. Usually it's the other way around. Usually it doesn't, you know, it, it, once you get it out there, it's not, it sounds awesome on paper. Then you get her out there and it turns out to not be awesome. Uh, Strasser comes to mind. Uh, but this is this uh, uh, I'm, you know this here sounds to me like this does not sound good at all on paper uh, it making uh, making an in-game ship destroyer um, so hopefully once we get her out there and start messing around with her and get her playing we'll be able to see that uh, but uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't seem to me I would, I would was looking for an actual skill that would actually heal her um, but I'm not seeing that. Uh, but you know, the damage reduction modifiers will make, you know, hopefully make her a little bit more tanky. But we'll have to see. But it doesn't sound like it's uh, uh, going to be much in terms of helpfulness. Uh, the, I like the fact that the skill, you know, allows destroyers to be used. But using destroyers isn't something that you can do because there's no other destroyers in the game that can last. So this does not seem like. Uh, what, what I was hoping for, but we'll, we'll, we'll get her out there. We'll see. I have to see what it does. But, but in terms of what it sounds like, it doesn't sound very good. But we'll see. It is what it is. All right. So uh, new ship out there. Shivakaz. Uh, destroyer. Yes, a destroyer. All right. So uh, thanks a lot for watching the vid. All right. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Once you've subscribed, you'll see the bell. Go ahead and click on the bell. You get notified each time I do drop a video. Also remember to like and share the video. So this is Kinra coming at you from the corner. Signing out.